is the new banner scam? Let's find out. We'll start talking about what it is, because there might be some people who are living under a rock and don't know that there is a new banner. The new banner consists of characters and weapons. You can choose your path to the selected weapon or character. If you select a character, you are getting only characters, 5 stars of course. And if weapon, you are getting only weapons. This banner works on similar fashion as weapon banner. You have fate point, which goes away once the banner ends. The thing about this banner is that the characters in there have to at least have three runs in its duration. If they didn't have yet, they won't appear there. The characters are selected from the longest awaited characters list. For example, currently there is Albedo, who was during the first half of Sumeru, and because of that, he appeared on this banner. Yula and Klee, on the other hand, had their banners at the end of Sumeru, which is still like three, three quarters of a year by now. Now let's talk about some certain issues that come up with this banner. First, there's the obvious one. You lose your 50-50 if you don't use it, which means FOMO, our favorite thing in video games, fear of missing out. You are almost obliged to pull for the 50-50 if you lose it, otherwise you might feel like your spent currency was wasted. Unless you don't mind getting what you get. Another thing with this banner is of course the current setup. The current setup is like luster because there are three standard characters, Deluke, Mona and Jean. Meanwhile, regarding the limited characters, there's Eula, Klee and Albedo, which are not the most insane characters. It's not Yelan, it's not Nuvillette, it's not Raiden Shogun, nothing like that. It's just very niche or very specific and mostly power corrupt characters that are there. Then, the duration. The duration is like one half of a patch cycle which is underwhelming, especially for people who want to pull for other things, especially since at the end of this patch there will be Nuvela, Kazuha, and at the beginning of next one will be Arlequino. So, yeah, this, this current setup is bad for this particular reason. There are other things I wanted to touch on. First, there are the Archons. Archons probably won't appear in this banner, because they have the Archon privilege, which means that they have confirmed to rerun every single nation. So that's out of question then, and they are usually the most powerful characters everyone wants. Then there's of course, talk about future banners. Monstat 1 might be the weakest, and because of that, we might consider it a scam. But imagine, you have Liyue banner. The bad characters in there are Chi Chi and Ketching. Then you have like Shao, Ganyu, Hu Tao, Yilan. And you pull for Yilan and instead you get Hu Tao or vice versa. I don't think it's that big of a loss. If it would be Chi Chi or Ketching, then yeah. Monster 1 doesn't have really win 50-50 unless you, are, you really like the characters or you enjoy their playstyle. But that's about it. Meanwhile, the other ones will be much, much better. The only banner that will be strictly without standard characters for now is the Inazuma one, because the, uh, during Inazuma we didn't get any standard characters. Meanwhile, in Sumeru we get Tainar and Dia. So Inazuma might be the strongest one. You have there Yaimiko, Ayaka, Yoimiya, Kokome, and so on. They are so good characters that you probably wanna get if you really enjoy them. Especially Yoimiya might get finally some spotlight since she was always just in a with other much stronger character and so people passed on her and pulled on the other one. For example, the one of the not most notorious banners, Yoimiya and Nahida. For this particular reason, I believe that the banner has potential, although there are things I would change if it were up to me. 
So, one change I would make is to make new different wish. Wish that would be different from the standard one and limited one. For example, in colors of red and green or something like that. But that, that doesn't really matter, does it? So, this wish would be specifically from Battle Pass and Events as an additional reward. This way, we are not using our sparse resources to already buy things for new banner. We are using something more and that would also increase our reward gain and thus making players more happy. And they would be much more willing to pull on it since they have another new wish so they would pull it on it for sure. Then there is the duration. I don't like the duration as one limited banner cycle. I would make it much longer. For example, we have the Chronicle Wish, which is from 5.0 to 5.4, and another one from 5.5 to 5.8. And because of that, we can reduce the cycle, the amount of characters in limited banner pool, so the reruns will be much faster, including the characters in the Chronicle Wish. For example, we will have Liyue set up, there will be Chi Chi, Shao, Keqing, Ilan, Hu Tao, Shenhan. Let's imagine this. And we will have this banner from 5.0 to 5.4. There will be some reruns, archons, maybe more Fontaine characters from the later part, and Sumer characters. And once we will get to 5.5, then Inazuma characters will be shoved in, and Mondstadt and reruns of Natlan characters might happen. And because of that, the cycle might, might be much faster, people might be much more willing to pull on it, because it's a long time, so they have a long time to decide. And for returning players, it's also good, because, hey, here's the banner, you can pull on it, and get, for example, Yaimiko, or you can get Ayaka, or Yuimiya, up to you. Other things much more interesting. Or another thing I was thinking of is reducing the hard pity from 90 to, for example, 60. Which, let's be honest, that w won't happen, because <laughs> that's extreme copium, actually. So, yeah. But, again, it would make the banner much less of a scam, because now you need up to 120 pulls to get two characters instead of spending like 90 to get one from limited. And I believe that's it. So thank you for watching, I hope you have a wonderful day, and let me know down in the comments what you think about this topic. And I'll see you in the next one.